Meet 3 Eye Atlas, only the third interstellar visitor we've ever confirmed after Oumuamua and Borisov. It was spotted on July 1, 2025 by the Atlas Survey in Chile, and its path is hyperbolic. Translation, it will swing in and then leave the sun forever. How fast and how close. At discovery, it was already moving around 137,000 miles per hour and will skirt the sun in late October 2025 at roughly 1.4 astronomical units between Earth and Mars. Minimum Earth distance stays well beyond 1 AU, so it's a science target, not a threat. Expect to be faint, not a backyard spectacle. Here's the wild part, the chemistry. JWST spectra show a coma that's unusually rich in carbon dioxide. The CO2 to H2O ratio is about 8 to 1, among the highest ever measured for a comet, hinting it formed in a very cold region, near a CO2 ice line, or that water is being suppressed by a crust. How big is it? Still uncertain. Hubble's early reading sets an upper limit of a few kilometers across. Useful, but not a final size. Don't hang your hat on largest ever headlines yet. Buzz check. Will Mars spacecraft see it? ESA says its Mars orbiters plan observations near the October 3rd close passage, even though it will still be about 30 million kilometers away. Not a glam shot, but valuable data. Where did it come from? Some analyses suggest an origin in the Milky Way's thick disk, which would make it ancient compared to our solar system. That's an informed hypothesis, still under study. Is it aliens? Evidence says no. We see a natural coma and dust, the spectrum matches icy comet chemistry, and the motion is a clean gravity-only flyby with no maneuvers. NASA's updates frame it as a natural interstellar comet, not a craft. Cool science, not a spaceship. Why this matters, 3i Atlas is a time capsule from another planetary nursery. With JST, Hubble, and Mars side eyes watching, we can read its ingredient list and test how other systems build comets. It won't stay long, but the data we grab now will shape models for years.